Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto or uh, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll talk about Mina uh, or the Mina protocol. I think it used to be called. Um, but obviously, we had to make a video on that. Uh, first of all, this chart looks very, very ugly. Um, I know, but it's um, it's needed. All right. Hopefully it does make sense in the end, but um, I'll try my best. But um, yeah, we had to talk about Mina. It's been very, very bullish over the course of today. Um, there's some other there's some other indicators that point towards it potentially rallying up even higher. Um, volume right now is around 300 million. It's very manipulated. Like you can see that with a move like this, like in a matter of um, in a matter of five minutes, about 10 million dollars was bought in Mina. And then you can also see that that if you take a look at the volume, and the volume is actually not even that weird. Like most of the volume is still coming from from Binance. Uh, but we do miss some volume, all right? If you if you add all of this up, you won't get to 100. Um, so there's probably some volume coming from manipulated exchanges as well. Doesn't matter, all right? It's bullish. And the big question is, is will it rally higher? All right, so that's what we'll talk about. Um, so let's get right into it. So first of all, I actually want to look this up, but, but first of all, the funding rate for Mina right now is crazy. Like it's at the maximum for Binance, OKX, Bybit, uh, I, I think everywhere. Yeah, it, it seems like it is everywhere. Uh, so usually if those funding rates are at the max, that means that first of all, that the spot price is very different from the futures price. Uh, and most of the times that it is at the max, it is a predictor of a sustained rally. All right, so, so given only that, you would actually assume that Mina will rally higher. Now, obviously, it isn't that simple in, in practice. Uh, there's way more at play. I mean, for example, right now, one of the big reasons why Mina was probably also more bullish is that a lot of people are buying crypto right now. Uh, Bitcoin is super bullish and people see Mina rallying like this and they think, hey, that looks bullish. I'm going to jump right in. Uh, so that helps. And then apart from that, you also also should keep an eye on the open interest and the volume to kind of gauge the momentum. And here you can see that the momentum actually was growing rapidly until eight o'clock this morning. And for the last two hours or so, uh, the, vo or the, the, the momentum has been dropping down a little bit. Not too much, all right? It's still very bullish. And I would say like in, in, in like technically, uh, the situation for, for, for Mina is, is the following, all right? It has this major resistance level around 85 and, uh, and 89 slash 90 cents. And then it has this major support level between 70 and 75 cents. And I would assume that most of the liquidation areas are also around those levels. Um, let's just take a look at it. I mean, we, we have some time, so we can actually check it out. Um, but I would assume so. Like here you can see it for Binance at least in the last, um, in the last 24 hours. Um, yeah, there you can see the most li most of the liquidation areas lay between 0 0.7 uh, and 0 .0 0.63 or so. Now those levels are, are far away from the current price because of those high funding fees, all right? The spot price is very different. This is the spot price and then the futures price. But I think those levels correspond with those areas. So purely technically, we'll have to wait for some sort of a, so, some sort of a, a bearish or a bullish breakout, either above uh, $87, I would say, or below 70 cents. And excuse me, I said, I, I said dollars, I meant cents. So technically we would have to wait for that. But given the fact that that Mina still has a lot of momentum and it hasn't decreased, and given the fact that the that the funding rates are this high, it's most likely that Mina will actually continue going up and that it's going to be able to break above eighty six dollar uh, eighty six cents, excuse me, and rally up to the next price target between a dollar and a dollar and five cents. And from there we'll see again. I mean, from there you'll, you'll you'll get a new area like this, and you'll have to see whether it's able to hold support. And if it is able to hold support, it will rally up higher. All right. Take keep looking at those funding fees. All right, because as long as the funding fees remain high like this. There's a huge in incentive to actually go long on Mina. All right, so th that's my take on Mina for now. I think this is the most likely scenario, but I am prepared for it to break down below 70 cents. And if it does break down below 70 cents and it holds that bearish breakout, it's just going to fall. All right, it is manipulated. So something like that could happen very quickly. Uh, so be, co be, be, be careful. All right, be careful when trading Mina. But that's my take on it for now. Um, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want uh, want to know how I am trading Mina, for example, consider joining the, the premium group. 
uh, in there I share all of my trades as signals, but you also gain access to an amazing uh, community full of traders and my trading guide. So uh, if you actually want to make some money and, uh, and become a better trader at the same time, consider joining. But for now, it's my take on Mina. That's the video. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.